more. Independence Day is a major celebration in Mexico. It takes place on September 15th, the eve of this great country's independence from Spain back in 1810. That night, the Mexican people were rallied to shout the words, Viva Mexico and Viva la Independence. Since then, these famous words have been remembered and chanted each year at fiestas across the nation. Kendall Norman and Quinn Cody are on a 12-day, 2,800-mile dirt bike adventure down and back up the Baja California Peninsula. It's the fourth day of their ride, and currently they're crossing from Scorpion Bay on the Pacific side to the port town of Loreto on the Sea of Cortez. This passage through the mountainous interior of Baja Sur is extremely hot and humid. Dirt roads and rocky tracks are the only means of travel. There are no gas stations or water stops, and very little shade. The two veteran bikers have no choice but to sweat through the heat of the day in hopes of reaching the cool beach by night. Kendall and Quinn reach Loretto just at the start of the two-day Mexican independence celebration. Loretto is a beautiful tourist destination catering to sport fishermen. Located on the warm Sea of Cortez, the waters offshore feature world-class Dorado fishing during the summer. <laughs> The town of Loreto was the site of the first Spanish settlement on the peninsula and is rich in history. Thus, the locals claim their Independence Day fiesta is the best one in Baja. Oh. All right, we finished off last night. It was Mexican Independence Day. Dude, it was going off, man. They had quite the show and it was uh, really cool to see that and see all the people celebrating. And uh, man, just, just really good vibes downtown last night. It was awesome. Beautiful sunrise in Loreto over the Sea of Cortez. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna head south of here, about 40 miles to a place called Agua Verde. Beautiful green water beach. Agua Verde is a remote mountainous stretch of coastline south of Loreto. It's off the map and extremely hard to reach. The zone is a boater's paradise, and if you can get there, you'll be rewarded with the most beautiful white sand beaches in all of Baja. How's it feel? This is so cool. So cool. I'm so thirsty. Man. High five. Woo! <laughs> Move that, sis. Mmm. <laughs> Chicharronis. It's called Agua Verde. This is like deep down in Baja, just a little nugget, man. This is a little fishing village cove, but um, dude, just so scenic and such cool backdrop and. The water is so beautiful, and I mean, this is what we live for down here. There's no way out other than this little trail, so we're gonna take the trail and hopefully, uh, you know, fully charting into the unknown. I've never been, Quinn's never been, so it's, we're gonna have our hands full. Hopefully it's not too rugged. We're 
at Mission San Luis Gonzaga. Fifth day, it's about 1,000, 1,100 miles into our ride, I'd say. We're getting pretty far south now. I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere and really cool old spot. If I was a kid and some guy did a stand-up wheelie on a seat, I'd be so pumped. And so I just like to give back all I can, you know, because this place gives so much. We got the best experiences and we've been having the best time. Stickers. We're pretty, pretty far out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, so we're gonna go look around and try and find some gas here and then uh, get on our way to La Paz. Okay, we definitely need to find some fuel before we, uh, before we keep continue on to La Paz. Si ¿Sí vende gasolina? Yeah. That way? Yeah. Here? You show us? Yeah. yeah. Basically, this guy's only got a gallon of gas, and so um, we're buying it from him because we need, we need gas to roll in Mexico as you never pass up gas. You really learn how to get resourceful out in the middle of Baja. Here we are, we're about, about 10 miles from the last place. We got a little bit of gas. I hope we can make it to La Paz. And the only gas stations, there are none actually. Just these little ranchos. The passage from Loreto to La Paz is over 200 miles with no services, modern gas stations, or even civilized towns. Here a local is kind enough to siphon gas out of his own truck, part of what travelers call the Baja Spirit. Getting stuck out here would be a matter of life or death, and Kendall and Quinn are truly grateful for this man's help. However, with over 100 miles to ride on a hot day, Tension is building between the two friends. If you spill it, I'm gonna sock you. You cannot afford to spill any fuel. Tune in for more as Chasing Summer continues. You're the dickhead that pulled me out of bed fucking when the cameras were on. You're acting like a complete asshole. You don't ever act like that. Are you getting tired again? What happened? No, you call me out, I'm gonna call you out. We gotta be easy on the gas. Yeah. 